Hi everyone, here's a quick video on the order of operations. So we have to use the order of operations to evaluate the following. And when we do our order of operations, we have to remember bed mass. And that's uh, when I always use B, E, D, M, A, S, bed mass. So bed mass, B is brackets, that's what we're going to be ending up doing first. Um, e is exponents, sometimes I see it as an I, so I've also seen it as bid mass for I for indices. Um, division and multiplication are looked as equal. They're just kind of put together just to make it make sense in terms of an acronym and addition subtraction as well. So let's look at this question and kind of sort out the different parts that we should be doing in the different order. So we have five plus two times negative three. So the first thing I see is I see multiplication right here. So that means we're gonna do multiplication first and we'll do addition second. So that means I'm going to do 2 times 3 first. <laughs> In my head, that was going to look a lot better of a little bracket. Let me see if I can fix that bracket up. Um, so I'm going to do um, 5. There we go. A little bit better. So I'm going to do this part first. So what's 2 times negative 3? So I know positive 2 times negative 3 makes a negative, so a positive times a negative makes a negative, and two times three equals six, all right? And then I have five. Five is being added to, so I take our, our addition sign from here, we bring it down, and what is five plus negative six? And that is equal to negative one. Perfect. All right, so next one. All right, um, so again, um, we've got th three different operations here. Um, we have got um, a multiply, a subtract, and a divide. Multiply, divide, subtract. So of these, um, does it matter if you do the multiply or divide first? No. Um, they're pretty far off in terms of how they're separated. So um, because their separation is pretty wide, we can do this first. Oops. That was supposed to be a one instead of two dots. And we can also do that first, and then we'll deal with that second. So let's deal with negative six times positive two first. So a negative times a positive makes a negative, and six times two is 12. I next write my subtract sign from right here, so that subtract comes down. I then deal with 10 divided by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is, oh, did I write this correctly? Oh, that's fine for now. Um, 10 divided by 5 makes 2. And negative 12 subtract 2. A uh, way to think about this is you owe $12. So you owe $12. And then you borrow two more dollars, and now you owe $14. Or you're at negative 12 on the number line. You're moving in the left direction, you're moving in the left direction, so further into the negative by two to get you to negative 14. So there's a second example for you. All right, third example is what we're doing is we're starting to bring in brackets. So I have some brackets being brought in now. So here's your brackets right here. And with brackets, um, you always deal with the brackets first, as that's the B of bed mass. So B of bed mass is always brackets. You deal with that first. So negative 2 subtract 1 is we're at negative 2 in the number line, and we're moving further to the left. So that's going to give us negative 3. And then we can bring our multiply sign down times 8. So... What's a negative times a positive? It's a negative. And what's 3 times 8? It's 24. So our answer is negative 24. All right, next example. So again, we got brackets in the middle this time. So we have to deal with, with what's inside the brackets first. So I rewrite 5. I rewrite my division sign. I deal with what's inside my brackets first. So negative 10 plus 5. So I'm at negative 10 on the number line. I'm moving to the right in a positive direction by 5, so that means I, um, I'm going to end up kind of 
Moving to the right, another way to think about this is you owe $10 and you pay off five. So how much do you now owe? You still owe $5 plus five. Okay, so now what do you deal with first? Do you deal with your division or your addition first? Bedmass says you deal with your division first. So what's positive five divided by negative five? A positive divided by negative is a negative and five divided by five gives you one. I now bring my plus sign over. And what is negative one plus five? I'm at negative one on the number line. I'm moving in a positive or right-hand direction by five, which gets me to four. All right, next example. Um, so this one's a little tricky because I have a fraction. I'm gonna first deal with up here. So I'm gonna simplify the top first, okay? So I rewrite negative six minus. What's 10 plus two? It's 12. Do not forget that this also means division. So when you have something as a fraction, it also means division. So that also means division. So we deal with that next. What's negative, or sorry, what's um, negative 12 divided by three? Or you can even just write it as this. You just drop your um, negative sign down. Um, what's 12 divided by 3? It's 4. Negative 6 minus 4. You're at negative 6 on a number line. You're moving further to the left um, by 4 units. So you're getting yourself further into debt if you want to think of it that way. 2, 10. Or negative 10, sorry. One last really crazy example. I just thought I'd show you one crazy one. Just I haven't pre-prepared like my other ones. Um, sometimes you can get brackets inside brackets. So people use a square bracket to help organize. So square bracket, two times bracket, three plus four, close round bracket, minus one, close square bracket, times three. So you always work with your brackets first. So I'm gonna deal with three plus four first, okay? So that's two times what's three plus four, seven, minus one, times three. Okay, so we still got to work inside our brackets. Next, I'm going to do two times seven, because that's inside our brackets. And we always do multiplication before subtraction. So what's two times seven? It equals 14 minus one times three. 14 minus one is 13 times three. The times three came from right there. And then 13 times three oof, is 39. I believe if I can do that one in my head, yes, equals 39. So there, there's a couple examples on how to use order of operations. Have fun with your practice, and I hope that you're all doing well. Take care.